101. Oh, hey guys, what are we doing today? Well, it could be a workout video, but I'm actually gonna show you how to install the Anderson hitch and all the reasons why I love it. One of being, it's so lightweight. So if that's something you're interested in, stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to Why Wait. I was being a little bit silly uh, earlier, but I just wanted to kind of show you some of the pros of the Anderson Hitch, one of being its weight at 35 pounds. Uh, you just can't beat the weight of moving in and out of the truck. And maybe I should do a workout video because working out on the road can be kind of difficult. And I usually am looking for any way to lift weights or stay in shape and uh, sometimes just finding items like this to, to move around can really help out. But that's a video for another day. So let me touch base on this. This is the Anderson um, Ultimate Hitch. This is the gooseneck connection. They also make another one that will connect to um, the rails in the bed of a truck if you have that style. We have the B&W uh, turnover ball goose that goes in the back of the bed. So we have the uh, gooseneck connection. This one right here is rated at 24,000 pounds gross toe weight rating. Um, that's going to cover most of your fifth wheels unless you're getting up into the, you know, the heavy duty custom luxes or maybe some uh, toy haulers that are, you know, truly packed. And it also has a 4,500 pound tongue weight. So, you know, once you lower your camper down on here, for the most part, you're not going to be exceed 4,500 pounds. Our fifth wheel back here is 40 feet long. Um, last time we weighed, we were about 16,600 pounds and our tongue weight of the camper is about 3,700 pounds. So this is more than efficient to handle that, and it's more than efficient to handle most of them. Now, a lot of people, you're either gonna love these hitches or a lot of people, I don't know, seem to hate them. It just kind of seems to be a thing out there. I have numerous friends who've had these, had them for years, and, and just absolutely love them, had no problems with them. Everybody I seem to know on Facebook or um, other forums online who've had this hitch love it and have no issues with it. I've probably put about 10,000 miles on this hitch alone. And the guy who owned this camper a year before me, he also had an Anderson hitch and he put about 8,000 uh, miles on his with no problems, no issues. So been very happy with it. Um, two years going now full time. And again, one of the biggest pluses is the ease of getting it in and out of the camper. You can see it just picks right up and you can just, I, I, I can literally just pick it up with one hand and step right out of my truck with it. So when we get somewhere and I want more bed space in my truck, I just, it takes about two minutes and I uh, just torque wrench and, and just, I just take it right back out. I slide it under my camper and that's where it stays until we go somewhere again. Now, if you're constantly on the go, if you're moving every two, three, four days, you're probably gonna wanna leave in the bed of your truck. And if that's your lifestyle, maybe you do wanna get a different kind of a uh, hitch and um, something you're just gonna leave in there anyways. But for us, a lot of times, we may be staying four, five, six months at a time at a place. So if I'm gonna stay that long, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the hitch out and throw it underneath the camper. So I'm gonna go ahead and touch base on some other things I like about the Anderson hitch, and then I'm gonna kinda just show you a quick and easy setup and the install for it. Um, again, I've been using this for two years, and we're getting ready to head out in about about three weeks, we're uh, gonna start leaving Texas and we're gonna head out west. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it installed today. Um, if you follow our channel, you may notice that we got a couple videos that we just did, a couple videos coming up, mostly about maintenance. A lot of them are gonna be kind of about um, just general prep, getting the camper ready to go, maybe after being stationary for a while. And then come April, uh, we'll be heading out west all summer and be doing some more like uh, travel vlog kind of videos. But if you guys don't follow the channel, now is a good time to uh, go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can follow along and get cool tips and maintenance and repairs and uh, watch our travels as well. And if you like the video so far, hit the like button. Okay, let's get going. Let's talk about some of the pros of the Anderson Hitch and why I like it so much and um, what I've liked about it for the past two years using it. 
Now, I already talked about the weight and mentioned that at 35 pounds, I can just pick it up with one hand and, and carry it right out of my truck, which, which I absolutely love. Um, another thing is having a greaseless coupler. No mess, no grease, no dirty hands. You never have to grease this, which is just a bonus in my book. I think it's the industry leader for short bed trucks. Um, if you have a short bed truck, we do not. We have a F450 eight foot long bed truck, so it's not an issue for us. But if you do have a short bed truck, I believe uh, this style hitch gives you more clearance. Another bonus is um, this will fit underneath your tonneau cover. This has three different adjustments that the ball can raise up or lower to give you your proper clearance between your bed rails. Um, and this one fits right under the tonneau cover we have. Speaking of tonneau cover, if you haven't checked out our video, I just installed the new tonneau cover. I'll put a link to that video up here. If you tow a fifth wheel, it's probably the best system around. We have a new toolbox. The tonneau cover comes up to the latches. The latches are above it, they're shotgun latches, so you can open the toolbox from standing outside of the truck. It all seals up, butts up, works together. Probably the best system out there. So if you haven't checked that out, um, yeah, give that a click. You can hitch and unhitch on uneven terrain with this system. Uh, the truck and camper don't have to be on the same level system. In fact, um, you don't even have to back 90 degrees up to your camper to hitch. The other day I was kind of in a tight situation and I backed up at a, a 45 degree angle to my camper to get underneath it and I was able to lower the camper onto the ball here and hitch up so no problem. So that, that's kind of a bonus. Speaking of hitching up, you also don't have to jump in the bed of the truck because there's a remote cable attached to the coupler on the pin box. So once you lower the camper onto the ball, uh, there's a handle right on the pin box that you just pull and turn or push and turn to disconnect and connect it. So no more climbing to the back of the truck or even reaching over the bed of the rails to try to connect everything. Those are some of the reasons I like it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start installing this and I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, it's really, really a fast process. Usually it takes me about two minutes, but I'll just obviously slow down and go through a few steps and maybe some tips and show you guys some things on it, okay? Now one of the first things I like to do is I'm about to put my uh, ball into the bed of my truck. I'll take some white lithium glue. And I like to spray it down in there real good and I'm gonna go on the outside and go exercise that. And this is just CRC white lithium grease. Um, great for any kind of metal to metal lubrication and latches and things like that. Okay, once you make sure you got your uh, ball in the bed of your truck secure real good, there's a pin right down here. Pull that pin out. Here it is. Set that off to the side. What that's gonna allow you to do is to pick this up. And you simply just drop it right on top of the ball of the truck. And we'll put that pin back in. But before I do that, I wanna show you one thing. Now, before I put this back in, slide it back in and tighten it down, one thing I noticed after the first year of towing was, after a long day of towing, the hitch would be turned just, just a hair each way. And I noticed that this base was kind of sliding around a little bit. And when I mean, I mean a quarter inch play, it would be off. And I guess I wasn't the only one because, um, I contacted Anderson about it, and they actually started selling a, uh, a rubber mat you can put down underneath it, which takes all that little play out of it. Now, I did purchase that mat. You can easily just go to Lowe's and just cut you a square piece of rubber, about three quarter inch thick, and cut a hole in it for the ball and put it right below it. So I'm gonna actually go, go ahead and throw that mat down real quick, then put this right back on top of there and do that. Okay, now I got this rubber mat down and that's just gonna keep the Anderson base just sucked down to the truck a little bit tighter. I don't know if it's because I have a plastic bed liner in here, if it's as bad as if you had a spraying bed liner, or if you have no bed liner, the plastic mat, if anything, will protect the bed of the truck. All right, now let's throw this back on here. Once you get it on there, you wanna to try to straighten it up as, as good as you can. Once you got your Anderson hitch on top of the ball, you're gonna slide this pin right back through the hole down here. So now if I go to pick up on it, it's not gonna go anywhere. You can see there was still a lot of play. We're gonna get the torque wrench, torque this down to 60. Okay, just a few items you'll need when installing the Anderson hitch are some sockets here. This is a nice little set. You can use either side, you can see 
15, 16, 7, 8. I like to carry this with me everywhere I go. These also work on my camper tires. I have a nice torque wrench here. And you'll need just some kind of Allen wrench. That's when you're going to do the coupler attached to the uh, pin box. Okay, so to torque this down, you're going to need a 15 16 inch socket. Now, one other note, when you do put the hitch in the bed, make sure that the ball is pointing towards the tailgate. And they even actually put a uh, arrow right on the hitch just to let you know uh, which way to face it, which way it goes. So just a quick note on that. The hitch lined up how we like it. Now we're going to just torque this top one down. I got my torque wrench set for 60. And we're just going to torque it down. Okay, once you got the top one torqued down, then you can come back and tighten these two down. Get them done by hand for a second. You're going to torque those down to 40. And that'll be it. It'll be installed in the back of your truck. Only other thing they recommend is once you drop the camper weight down on top of it, to just sometimes come back and check this and just give it a little extra torque because sometimes that actual the extra weight of the camper will compress this down just a little bit and you want to make sure this is still torqued tight and what that essentially does is when you torque down on that it's cinching this piece and the ball in your bed of your truck together to tighten make them one cohesive unit so let me torque these down real quick to 40. Okay, so there you have it. The Anderson hitch is installed in the bed of the truck. Again, if I wasn't filming that, I, I think I can get that done usually in a minute now. And same thing to take it out, it takes me a minute. You, you know, loosen the three bolts, pull the pin, and you can just take it right out of there. It takes no time at all. Now, something I bought about a year after having the Anderson hitch were some safety chains. Now on the conventional fifth wheel setup, safety chains aren't required, but usually in I think it's usually state law, but most states, if you have a gooseneck connection, which they are kind of pretty much considering this a gooseneck connection, um, it can be actually a legal requirement to have safety chains. So I got the safety chains through Anderson, and when you do get the safety chains um, through Anderson, they actually come with some different eye bolts that go into your coupler connection, and I'll show you those in a minute. But let me go ahead and throw these safety chains on there and get that step done. You can see my safety chains installed back in there. Um, now, my truck, I already had the, the place to install the safety chains in there. If you don't have those, Anderson actually sells a, a plate that's going to go right around the ball of your truck, and it's going to have two things on it to install the safety chains. Here, real quick, the installation manual that comes with the safety chains. You can see the piece that would come if you're using a gooseneck setup that would go around your wall, your chains attach here. Or if you have the rail mount system, they give you some attachments that go onto the rail. And everything's kind of nice, straightforward here. You can see how that would actually go. The hitch would sit on top of it, put your chains right through there, and then they show you the rail system as well. Here it is, all installed in the back of the truck with the safety chains. Um, you can see the tonneau cover here, the tonneau cover set up with my toolbox I was telling you about earlier. Again, if you guys want to check that out, um, you know, the link to the video is also below. But I can now roll my tonneau cover up as well, and that won't interfere. You can raise that ball as needed to three different heights. Now, I'm going to go show you the second part of the Anderson hitch attached to the kingpin, the coupler. I may have to do some voiceover just to let you know because it's extremely windy. And I've been hiding on this side of the camper out of the wind. But as soon as I walk over there, I'm going I'm to get wind blasted. So... So when you're first installing the Anderson hitch, you're going to want to look at your directions and take a couple measurements to see which way the coupler would be in the best position for you. And this is what I'm talking about here, position one, position two. You measure and you find out the distance from the middle of the ball to the back of your pin box. And you also take a measurement from the ball of the Anderson hitch in the back of your truck to the side rail and to the uh, back rail tailgate. And what this is going to do, depending on which position is best for you, it's going to give you the proper clearance. I think a lot of times if you have a short bed truck, position number two is better. That's going to give you um, less play in here. So there's less chance of when you're taking tight turns that your kingpin will come in contact with the bed rails or the tailgate. Um, I have it in position one. I've always had it in position one. It hasn't been a problem for me. But then again, I do have a eight foot long bed truck. 
This is the second part of the Anderson hitch setup. This is the coupler, and it always stays attached to the pin box. So it's already installed. Um, the instructions that come with it are pretty clear cut and straightforward. I'll just touch base on a couple quick points. Um, as you can see, it just, this is your king pin right here, and it just slides up on your king pin, and you have a bolt that goes through each side to hold it in place. Now, these are the eyes I was telling you about. These are the eye bolt replacements that I got that come with the safety chains. You put one on each side, and you attach your safety chains to those. Those replace the original bolts I had, okay? And when you do put the bolts through on this side, always make sure you put the eye bolt towards the back and you don't put the eye bolt sticking out here that may interfere with the coupler uh, release and connection. When you do go to install this, another tip they recommend, you're gonna have to attach, you're gonna have to attach the handle here to your pin box. All you have to do is pull on this to open it and then push it back in to close it and turn. And that's it. But they do recommend that you install this on the opposite side on the passenger side of the pin box because it's got this you know little wire here that goes with it and they just don't want that getting bound up if you were to install it on this side and then the last thing you have to do to tighten this down you can see these four holes here uh, you're gonna have to get a hex wrench and all you want to do is get up in there and tighten those down um, tighten them down to uh, torque them down to 40 and then that'll be all set just make sure this is always lined up straight uh, two years, it's never moved, but I do check it each time before we leave. Now, as you can see, this is the uh, greaseless coupler right here. And you don't even have to be uh, that dead on when hitching up. As long as the ball is anywhere in this red area, uh, you drop the camper and, and then the ball just slips right on in there. So it's actually pretty easy to hitch up to this. Okay, well, I got it out. So I figured I might as well show you how quick and fast it is to take this out of the bed of your truck. One thing to remember, um, you're going to need a breaker bar. Don't ever use your torque wrench because that's a good way to ruin your torque wrench. So definitely recommend getting a just a nice little breaker bar. This one was like $21 on Amazon. It's one of the few things I'll put a link down to along with the torque wrench I use, uh, the socket sets, or anything else you see in the video today. Okay, so let me just do this real quick. First thing I'm going to do is just put this on here. And I'm just going to loosen that. I'm gonna loosen the two back here. Only takes a second to loosen them. Just those loose. Pull that. Pull the pin from underneath here. And that's it. You got the Anderson hitch out of the bed of your truck. So, as you can see, it goes like that. Lightweight, again, I can pick it up with one hand, no problem. So that's, I guess, take it out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. As usual, come back each week. We always have new videos, new tips, uh, travel vlogs, follow us along and our family. We're heading west soon, so we'll have some good adventures for you guys to check out. And uh, as always, um, get out there and start full-timing and start your adventure as well, because why wait? See you guys next time.